This dude looks kind of creepy. Almost looks a little bit like Mark. Hello, everybody. I don't My know. Mark like, at least I'm having a good shirt day. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all having a great shirt day, and welcome to a new adventure in the assessment examination. This is a game inspired by the Mandela catalog. So we're gonna be examining some people mm -hmm. and it, act, if, if seeing if they're oh, sus gosh. or not. No, sorry, my brain's broken. Seeing if they're um, not real. Man, I absolutely love analog car. Let's get right into this. I'm really good at judging a book by its cover, will now begin. which is what this game's about, I think. Hello, friend. Hi, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the authenticity assessment department. Do you just apply through like Yelp or no? Are very Indeed. Happy to have you. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. I'm listen, I played LA Noir. I was good at doubting people. To get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Okay. So, I just have to assess people? It's like the IRS. It seems pretty simple, straightforward. How did you hear about this position? Um, a newspaper? A dream? If you, I don't, listen, I don't know too much about interviews, but if you go in and say, I had a dream that I worked here, you might not get the position. Uh, the newspaper, but well, hold on. I don't feel like a organization like this would be putting ads out in the newspaper. I feel like you got to know somebody. You got to know somebody to know somebody in this type of town, in this type of experience. Do you have any pro professional experience in this area? It's always important to lie on a job application, which is why I'm going to say yes, even though I've only worked in retail and YouTube. I don't feel like this is very professional. Do you have any professional experience that you asked me the same question twice as a trick to see if I'm not paying attention? I always pay attention. It's one of the few things that I pay, unlike taxes. Yes, I was paying attention. It gave me like a bad buzz. Do you believe in God? I don't. I, is, is this is this part of the test? Uh, uh, is this gonna affect me? Do you fear death? I could take the Grim Reaper to fight. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I'm, I'm having a good shirt day. You see, you see this shirt? It's a button up. I'm not dying in a button up. No, I don't fear death. Get out of here. Okay. Do you, do you fear God? Is. Am I still like? Are we still like th thinking if, if if people are like real or not? Is that, am I still doing assessments at this point, or are you just like dissecting my personality? No, not really. Do you have people you love in your life? Is this to be like? Oh, you need to you need to be a loner. You need to have no ties. You never know who could be an an, an entity. You never know who could be impersonating somebody that you love to get in, you know? Maybe, n no, no, I well, I do have people, but again, what did I say? We lie on job applications, that's, that's what you do. You lie. Do you fear losing? I just said no. No. I, th I think that's a coupon code for CVS. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how you get two for $3 for the, the head and shoulder shampoo. I'm pretty sure. Not that I use it, okay? Are you kidding me? I make my own shampoo. Who do I look like? No, I don't fear losing. In a moment, we will provide you with that several images me. of people and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted right. or threats you should stay away from. Uh, Please people be doing careful with your selections. Real? Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Okay. Oh, so this is still just a test. This is just a test, okay? Uh, that's Hello, Markiplier. My name is Markiplier. I don't, do I trust Markiplier? I mean, this is the real life size of Markiplier. I feel like there's not much that he could do. So I feel like, yes, it looks like a trustworthy fella. You just showed me two pictures of Markiplier. That's just the swirl filter from like Snapchat or something. I don't feel like that's too much of a threat. That's just a grandmother using some filters to feel connected with the, her grandkids or something, you know? There's nothing odd about that. It's a threat. It's a threat. It's definitely a threat. It's definitely a threat. Okay. Um. That looks like uh, I don't know. They're like doing like a headshot for like a modeling agency. I I, I trust. Do I trust them? They're kind of looking at me like through the screen. Uh, but no, I trust them. Did I do right? Am I doing good? What is this? Uh, excuse me. This is not even a. Did your children draw this? Well, okay. <laughs> 
That was the creepiest thing ever. Uh, trust? No trust? You, you gotta really look at the picture. You gotta really look at the picture. I feel like there's nothing off about this. It looks like a normal picture. I trust it. I trust it. Sure. Oh, hey. Maybe, maybe they just have contact lenses and it doesn't pick up well in the pictures. I'm tearing up a little bit. I, you are a threat. You are a threat. Why'd you get so close to the camera too? Okay. This looks like an, a normal photo. I trust. Trust. You're missing some eyes. You're missing. You're missing eyes. Um, a threat? Am I doing good? Did I get the job? We didn't even talk about pay. What is this? What is this? I can't really. It's really hard to see what this says. Huh? Five milligram tablets. Take tablets by mouth nightly. What tablets? Wait, do I have to take drugs for this thing? Wait, does this company encourage steroid use? I, uh, uh oh, okay. Hi, uh... Kinda uh, uh, looks like me. I don't know. Not really. Not really. Uh... You seem normal at first glance, but... I don't trust people with beards. You know? They're not... They're not trustworthy. But I don't... Uh, it's tough to say. Like the beard down here is a little messed up. I'm gonna say threat. I'm gonna say threat. Why are you looking like that? Why do you look at me like that? I don't know. They're just staring like lifelessly at the camera. Threat. Threat. Oh, that was a that was a bad beep. I think. Is there something wrong with your eye? It's really hard to tell in the black and white, but I feel like there's something on on their eye. I don't know. Trust. It looked pretty normal. Am I doing good? What is this? Francisco, 19, victim 2. Police department, what's your emergency? Yeah, uh, hi. I'm at Dore Park at a gas station. Uh, actually, in a corner of Dore Park. And I think there's somebody there who needs help? There's a kid outside? What? He's got some blood on him. That's a terrifying call. The kid's probably fine. The kid's probably fine. They're probably just playing. Uh, is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just that he's outside and the door is locked, so I can't tell. He is asking for help, though, so I don't know if you can hear, but he's asking me to help him. Don't open the door. Whatever you do, do not open the door. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him. Obviously, the moment he came in. It's a kid with blood on him. For Christ's sake. But, and this is gonna sound crazy to you it just I was pulling out my keys I saw it his face his face you know he had this look remind me of something I, I don't know what something I'm terrified of it I don't know man but something's off about that kid like real off I don't trust kids either I don't trust them mm. You're going to let that kid bleed out because you, he feels off? Yeah, man. Bad vibes. I'm. T are you kidding me? No, I'm not letting the kid in. No, like, no, that's not what I'm saying. He He's not dying, I don't think. He just uh, he doesn't look right. It's all like he just died himself. Wait, wait, wait. Like he just died himself? But he hasn't, obviously, like a ghost or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just messed up right now. I've, I've been drinking a little bit, but you had to see him. It's scary, officer. Dot, dot, dot. Officer? What? He must be pale because of blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight. And not because he drank one too many uh, cheap beers. Is he still there? How does he look? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, I don't know. 
I'm like crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. <laughs> it's really creepy. He's, this person's under the counter. Oh man, I listen, I, like I said, I don't trust kids either. Hmm, well, okay. Well, the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away, and this kid can't be doing well. So I need you to go assist him. I need you to tell the ambulance to hurry up because I'm not a medical professional. I don't know what you expect me to do for this kid, but it's not opening this door. Oh, have that. No way. No. You didn't see the little... He's not normal. <laughs> you know, you know, refusal to uh, cooperate is a crime. Right, son? Is that... Is that what that is? Of course. Gosh. Okay. I'll go check on them. But you're going to have to bring two body bags now because I'm not going out alone. This kid's coming with me. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. Uh, Anna Maria Santia. What? What was that? Was that the kid? There's no way I'm hitting trust, but I really want to hit trust just to see what would happen. Oh, that's definitely a threat. That's definitely a threat. I'm hitting trust. You can all yell at me later. I'm hitting trust. That looks like kind of like the same kid, but less demonic. Trust. Trust. Looks like a normal child. We all know what kids are. They're threats. That's right. That's a threat right there. Uh... Hello? Oh, excuse me? Excellent. Did I get at the job? You have now completed the authenticity assessment. Did I get the job? Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on I feel like I got the job. So what's the pay like? Is it do we get benefits? Dental? Hello? Do we get therapy? I'm gonna need therapy. Are you kidding me? Hello? I'm so uncomfortable. I am so very she uncomfortable. She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open. And when she went into the room, she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today. And at other times I like being with grandmother so much. She called out, <laughs> good morning, but received no answer. So she went to the bed and drew back the curtain. There lay her grandmother with her cat pulled far over her face and looking very strange. What? Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. What? All the better to hear you with. Don't you go do that, grandma. Was the reply. But, grandmother, what big eyes you have. She said, all the better to see you with, my dear. But, grandmother, what large hands you have. All the better to hug you with. Don't go do that, grandma. But, Grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. Get away from the grandma! Oh, man. I think they died. Well, what? What? I mean, you failed me. Did I do the job wrong? I can't s escape imprisonment? I'm surrounded by nothing but lies? And sand. What about sand? Why is there sand and suffering? What does sand have to do with suffering? What is this? I can hear him laughing in my in in my what? You have now completed the authenticity what? assessment examination. Congratulations. Did I get the job? Was if that you still part of it? You will receive a letter on March at 9:37 a.m. If I get a letter on that day, I'm leaving that. the country. Five. Lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. The real letter. Not call the police. What? If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, if they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. Please take if pity on me. If goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. <laughs> Be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. Yay, family. You are at the end of your examination. Uh. Wow. That was incredibly disturbing. That really, really encapsulated the Mandela catalog. That was 
extremely well done. That was disturbing. I don't know if I got the job, though. I think I let a few things slide that I shouldn't have. Let me know what you thought about this game. Would you take a position like this? I definitely wouldn't. Are you kidding me? I... No. That'd be like working at the STP Foundation. You're just... You're gonna die. That's not a good time. Either way, adventurers, thank you for joining me today in the assessment and examination. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, with courage and determination, any adventure is possible. And I hope to see you on our next one. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.